Hello everyone, it's Todd Screamer. Thanks for listening to this video. So we're doing a little video about what makes a leader versus a micromanager. We all get in this business as a loan officer the same way. And that is, we micromanage everything. We're doing three or four files a month and we're actually taught to be a micromanager because we're the ones that get the upset client phone calls. We're the one that, that's ultimately responsible. So what are those key differences? What does this feel like? So here's seven ways to explain it. When you talk about a leader, we trust people. When you trust people, they want to do a good job. You empower them. Versus a micromanager that's saying, hey, did you call this person? You know, maybe you delegated to call him 10 minutes later and, or 10 minutes ago and 10 minutes later, you're like, hey, did you call him? Did you call him? Well, maybe they had another priority come up. If you told them, hey, call him with an hour, give him an hour. Give him an hour and a half. Okay, that's an idea. The second idea is empower versus hover. Okay, I know for me, I used to be the worst control freak ever. I usually... I set up my office at one point where I could see all seven of my assistants out my glass window. And that was so silly. I think back on those times. When you hire really good people and you tell them exactly what to do, they'll do it. Okay? The third one is teach how to fix problems instead of you fixing problems. So if you say, hey, I want you to call Marcy at appraisal. I want you to do appraisal review. We need to get a second appraisal. You know, go through this and tomorrow report back to me what the progress was. That's way different than you calling the underwriter or you calling the appraisal department and figuring out how to fix things. Your team can do that because the loan officer needs to go sell. Their two main things that we got to do is take loan applications and meet with referral accounts, okay? Most of the problem solving, 80% of it can be done by your team. The third one is set high expectations versus low expectations. So if you don't tell your team how many leads you want to get a month, they're not going to get them. You don't even know, okay? So we're doing business by accident. You say, hey team, we're gonna get 50 leads a month no matter what. When you start talking that way and you have visual aid saying, hey, we're gonna get 50 leads, we're gonna take 20 applications, and we're gonna close 13 loans. You start using visual aids like that, it's part of setting high expectations, okay? The fourth thing is delegate versus I do all the work. Listen, I used to work till 11 o'clock at night and I had to do all the work and I had to be the latest person staying at the office. That's a bunch of bunk. You gotta work together as a team. You know, a quarterback's job, they need the whole team. They need a running back, they need someone to catch the ball, they need the defensive line to hold the line, all of those things. It's gotta be team. You look at the mortgage industry today, if you don't have team, you don't have any assistance, you're gonna close three, four loans a month, maybe five on a great month, right? On average. And it's just not the way that the industry's changed forever. We've got to learn these skills. Another example is I'm gonna develop people versus I'm gonna be okay with a B or C player. Well, a lot of B players, you grew them into A's through your leadership, through your management. And I know that's asking a lot of people, but that's really the process that has to happen, okay? The last one is I respond versus I react, okay? Once you get that upset phone call because you didn't do your Tuesday updates, you're a mess, okay? Because if the client needs to call you and say, hey, what's happening with my loan? I'm really concerned, I gotta close on Friday. If you would've just made the calls and had that discipline, then you'd be ahead of that problem. If the customer calls you, you've already lost the game. So you gotta have structure and systems in your business so that we are doing things before they're needed. And that's the big idea. So guys, that's just a short video on what is the difference between being a leader and being an empowering, trusting person and being a micromanager. It's a recovery process that we all have to go through. Thanks for listening.